right, here we are today. We got some old 90s F-150 um, mags. I got these pretty much for free. I paid about 40 bucks for them, so um, that's about scrap value. Might be a little under scrap value around this area. But um, anyway, so obviously I got them for a pretty good deal. Now with Father's Day coming up, uh, my idea is kind of to take these, clean them up, get some good tread on them, and then put them on my dad's uh, 69 F100. He's just got those really ugly steelies on it right now. Um, last night I went and I picked up some good 31 by 10 and a half by 15 tires that are in really good shape, almost new for just a ridiculously low price. So um, since I'm going with this today, uh, I decided I might as well try and clean these up. Uh, they're pretty nasty. They've been sitting out in the woods in the weeds for a long time. So these don't even have tires on them here. But um, I'm gonna just try and use some home products to clean these up instead of, I don't know, going out and buying some really expensive aluminum cleaner and then, you know, the little flapper wheel to clean them up. So anyway, I guess without further ado, I'm gonna get these caps pulled off because they don't really need to be on there. And then we'll get to cleaning. And thankfully, these are all coming out pretty easy, as amazing as that is, after they've sat for so long. So, you gotta be happy about that. So as it turns out, these are indeed metal. I would have never have uh, guessed that, considering most of these on um, cars are plastic today, and really, the whole rim on most large trucks is plastic with a steel piece behind it. So, they just don't build things like they used to, clearly. And Man, you can just see how good it could possibly look there. When you pull the cover off behind all this mud is some pretty clean stuff. So hopefully we can get all this gritty, grimy stuff to uh, hopefully look like something close to that at the end of the day. So with this guy being so scummy, I think the first thing I'm going to do is just try and wash some of this mud off and take a sponge here and just get to the point where we can actually see what we're dealing with. Um, overall, they don't look horrendous, but they definitely have their quite a bit of buildup of mud and brake dust. So we're just gonna get them cleaned and then we're gonna go from there. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna try and do is dissolve some of that road grime. You know, the stuff that you can see on this mag that gives it that nasty reddish um, pitted tint. So, um, obviously I didn't think too hard about this. I thought, well, you know, what are most cleaners made of? It's usually an acid. So, um, lemon juice is pretty acidic. I guess you could use Coca-Cola also, but really this is just a dollar from Walmart. So, it's even cheaper. And I just put it in this uh, pan and filled it with uh, just a little bit of water. I just dumped the whole bottle in and you can dump however many you want in. I just think it only take one. Also, Dawn, you know, I, when I get my hands all greasy from working in the garage, it seems to work well. So probably would work as a degreaser also, but I'm assuming lemon juice is awful abrasive. So we're not too worried about hurting the wheels. So I guess at this point, we'll just see how it works out. But I got myself a little spray bottle. I'm just going to spray it on and then try and rub it in with my sponge and just see what happens, I guess. I guess we'll just spray this on here and then take the abrasive part of our sponge and just go to town. But yeah, I'm really not even using a whole lot of elbow grease here and it's just, it's just coming right off there. That's amazing. So lemon juice obviously does a pretty good job. All right, so now we're really getting somewhere. I only spent about probably maximum two minutes with the sponge on that guy, and it's looking pretty good. Just to do a little quick comparison, this is about what we started out with. You can just see how grimy these were. So that's pretty impressive. So now I was looking around my fridge and what other things that the girl has in there that I have no idea what they're used for or I never use is, I guess, baking soda. So I. What I'm kind of thinking here is it's somewhat abrasive. So what I'm going to do is just kind of shake it on here, spray on some of that lemon juice again as kind of a lubricant, and rub around with my sponge and 
see if I can just get this a little bit better. You can see that all that red tint is gone, but we just still have a little bit of black speckling and maybe this will do the trick. I don't know, so let's find out together, I guess. Now as I struggle to open this for whatever reason, there we go. So I don't really have a plan here. I guess what I'm gonna do is just shake it on there real good. In my spray bottle. Get a little damp, and this time I'm thinking I'm gonna need a little bit of elbow grease. But hopefully our results are pretty good. All right, washing this guy off here. Looks pretty good. You know, I only spent about five minutes on it and it really came a long way. Can't complain with that, but the real test here is we'll dry it off and see how it looks. All right, so it's all dried off here. A little comparison for you of before and after, and it came amazingly clean. And I only really spent, like I said, about five minutes on it. And at this point, I guess if you wanted to hit it with some wheel polish or aluminum polish, it would look really, really good. But, you know, this is just a daily driven 69 F100, and that's gonna go a long way with uh, making it look pretty decent compared to what it has on it right now. But just amazing coming from <laughs> from this to this in very minimal time. So you just use your head a little bit, think of just what household uh, products would work in the application and you know, just simply lemon juice and baking soda, it seems like go a long way. So I'm gonna get the rest of these cleaned up. I'm gonna clean up the caps and then we'll get a final look at them and then um, get a shot of them on the F100. So it seems to me here, cleaning these up, the easiest way to do things is to lay it on its back and just work out to in and that way you can kind of see where you've been and you can be sure not to miss anything. factory three on the tree truck so it's pretty nostalgic but not very fast and i'm going down the road about 70 miles an hour you're turning like uh, 2800 rpm so hopefully with the larger tires since the old ones are about 28 inches and these are 31s um, should lower that rpm on the interstate where it's much more reasonable all right here they are on the truck just i'm um, doing a simple test fit just to see how they look they're definitely better than the, uh, the old ones, but they sit out a little bit more, but it looks like we're gonna have enough clearance. Now the, what we're trying to determine here is if it looks better with the dust cover or without the dust cover. I definitely think that this guy looks pretty um, 80s, 90s style, and without it, it looks a little bit more rugged like the rest of the truck, but um, you know, you can just let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Now, um, if we go this route, what would be nice is if we had two more of these. Obviously, these came from a four-wheel drive truck, so two of these are open for the lockouts. But if anyone has any of these sitting around that they wouldn't mind parting with, um, they wouldn't be bad for us to have for sure if we decide to go this way. Um, I'll definitely pay shipping for them, but um, overall, it looks like they look all right. And, um, you know, with being taller, it'll have a lot more reasonable RPM when it's on the interstate.